Hey everyone, it's Jeff with PeptideCritic.com and Randy the Research Rat. And today we're gonna go over a question we've been seeing a lot online and we've gotten more than a few times. And it's about uh, disposable pens. Um, disposable pens are what a lot of people are used to, uh, you know, when they go to a pharmacy, they get a pen, like an Ozempic or a uh, Wagovi, well, Zepbound, et cetera. Um, you know, when you go to a compounding pharmacy, they don't offer these, you're pulling from a vial. But then researchers uh, have found a use for these. Um, what we're all pretty used to is the standard, uh, you know, style of a V2, V3, V1. Um, this is a V3, and uh, you just unscrew it, you pop your cartridge in, you tighten it back up, and once you're done, it runs out, you just unscrew it, take it out, pop a new one in, and you're good to go. And that's it. With these, you can't. And there are a few different styles. Uh, the first one is this uh, slim Re, or uh, disposable, and these are uh, these are actually one of my favorites. Um, they're a little harder to source, but uh, we should have them in our store uh, in about a month. And if you, uh, you know, unless I decide to start selling from uh, Randy's personal stash, but I don't think he'd like that. Uh, and um, they're, uh, yeah, if you're watching this video a month from when it was posted, they'll be on the store. So uh, it's slim, um, it's fairly, uh, innocuous, no one really notices it. And that's kind of why we use these. When you travel, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's, you're taking this stuff on a one-way trip anyways, and it's just easier to uh, use a disposable um, rather than having these big shiny, like, hey, look, I've got an injector pen uh, styles, which are fun in your fridge, but not going through, uh, you know, customs and border protection. So uh, yeah, this, this is the slim version. I like it a lot. And then we have this, version. And this is what, uh, I like these two. They're bigger. Um, I should also say all of these push 60 units at, at max. There are some that'll push up to 80 units, but I've noticed issues with accuracy with those, like legitimate issues. So this has, the difference here is this is slightly bigger than this version. Um, it's thicker and the cap's thicker. It's just thicker all the way around. Um, the only reason is that it's mechanism is, um, you know, more robust. Uh, I have an easier time pushing large amounts, amounts of units with uh, this, and so does Randy. This is also the pen that you see uh, some of these horrible brands that are taking like GLP-3s and labeling them and putting them in fancy boxes that you see for sale on TikTok. This is the brand of pen they're putting their stickers all over and then putting in a box. Um, we will be also be adding these to our store empty like this, no, nothing included, but that's why this might look familiar. We'll actually be offering it in a blue. Um, you know, this is, right now, this is uh, what I use just so I don't mix my pens up if I'm using a disposable and I'm not traveling. Uh, and then we have something that everybody wants and nobody can get, but I can. And this is an actual, I believe it's a Wagovi. <laughs> Uh, pen. And so these actually have to be glued together. Uh, you put your cartridge in, you load, you put it together like this and you glue it. And then you prime it, get the air out, and then you're good to go. And the company in China that makes these is selling them off the back of the truck, which I think is hilarious. So I had to buy some. We're not going to be selling these. Uh, I just think it's funny and I have them. Uh, what's even funnier is they even have uh, the manufacturer QR code. It's absolute hilarity. But I just thought I'd show you that you can just, you can even get these if you really want. Um, it's more of like a novelty because, you know, uh, over here at Peptide Critic, we're peptide nerds. So um, all of them use these standard, uh, you know, 3ML cartridges. And the big thing is once they're put together, there is no getting them apart. Once these click in, the actual cartridge holds it in place. So if you take it apart, you break the pen. And it's, and I mean, you're actually cracking the plastic. They are a nightmare to get apart. And if you have them, like right now, if I just started cranking this and pushing on it, this won't go back in. There's no pushing the plunger back the other way. So this isn't something you take out of the box and play with. Um, that being said, uh, I actually have to load one of these 
uh, for a little trip I'm going on. I'm actually out of uh, DSIP for Randy and Randy doesn't sleep well when he travels. So we're gonna quickly load and show you how to uh, set up one of these pens. So first things first, we're going to make sure our surface is sterile on the tops of these gaskets, seals. Um, I sterilized this entire surface before I started shooting the video. I also sterilized Randy, go figure. Um, so we're gonna pull. I believe I did uh, 2.8 ml in this. So, so we're gonna pull a lot and then we're gonna filter it into the cartridge. Real slow and easy. Let's see. Got it all? Cool. So we will now cover this. And as you've seen in our filtering videos, now that I've used this needle, goes in the bin because it is no longer sterile from the peptide that we're going to filter. So then we just add the PES filter. It's lure lock. Easy peasy. And then I have a smaller needle to put it in the cartridge. This is a lure slip. We just slide this over. And the trick always is hold down on this little tab right here with your fingernail or something and pull out. Cool, needle's good. And probably actually should have done that last, but I'm a professional at doing research with Randy. So we're good there. Just pull a breather needle out, put it in at a slight angle on the edge like so, and then just add our peptide. Um, you know, another reason some people end up using the reusables and I've caught myself, or sorry, the disposables and I've caught myself doing this, is it is an absolute uh, nightmare keeping track of your pens when you're researching a pretty heavy stack. And, uh, you know, even if you label them, you know, if it's if it's six in the morning and you just woke up and you're supposed to, uh, you know, research some AOD 9604 and you accidentally grab the Delta sleep inducing peptide because it's the same color pen and you realize you just uh, took Delta sleep inducing peptide uh, early in the morning, uh, it, ru it ruins your day. And uh, that's when I realized uh, DSIP really works because I was just ready to fall asleep the entire day and it was not a good time. So now I'm just going to uh, purge the air out of this. Let's see. Good to go there. I need a little higher. So some people will actually do this in the pen. Some people will set up a purge station and doing it, do it like I am. And some people will actually just use uh, the needle uh, cover on the end to get all the air out. And that's good to go. So put that to the side. Now we have to load this thing. So it's the same as you would think normally, but you just drop this in. And then this bad boy try to find it to where it lines up. There's two tabs right here and they just fit in like so. And once it's in, you press. It needs a lot of force and I would wiggle it around to make sure it's fully in because I've actually had, uh, you know, I've pressed down on the plunger, which you can actually see is moving. And cool, it's made contact. I'm not gonna push anymore. And the first time you use any pen, obviously, you uh, put a needle on and you uh, express uh, five units just to make sure it's fully purged and working. And that's it. Now I have a DSIP trip to keep Randy asleep uh, while we travel. So if you have uh, any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah. As always, happy researching from Randy the Research Rat and Jeff at PeptideCritic.com.